John Hershen. I'm one of the editors of The Thing Quarterly, and The Thing Quarterly is a periodical in the form of an object. And uh, we publish uh, four times a year with different writers, artists, filmmakers, or designers on uh, various objects that could be used in your house. The most recent issue is the James Franco issue, which is issue 14. And uh, actually, uh, James wanted to publish on himself. The issue is really about Brad Renfro, um, who uh, my interpretation of this is that um, James sees him kind of as a, a, um, a Hollywood dark star. The issue, I think, is really about kind of mortality and fame. And James wrote on each of the mirrors with lipstick in this incredible grueling session that took about seven hours in our office. And, uh, and so it can smudge if you're not careful which is, I think, really an elegant kind of way to think about this issue. Very intense and beautiful. So basically, people who subscribe receive this stuff in the mail. They don't know what they're going to get, but then they just get this thing from someone they may or may not know. And then coming up, we have McFadden Thorpe, we have Dave Eggers, we have uh, Shannon Ebner, and then Mike Mills. I'm from Art Metropole, and we're an artist-run center in Toronto, Canada. And we specialize in artist books, editions, and multiples. We have a bookshop and a gallery space, and we're fast approaching our 40th anniversary. So here we have uh, some of our more expensive special editions, and they range from old vintage uh, signed artist publications to new uh, editions like the Peaches Grill, which is a multiple of 150 where it's a cast replica of the performer's teeth that you would wear as if like a granny would have her glasses on a chain. So it's a mix of contemporary work and also vintage work, special editions of publications like A. Bronson's uh, catalog from the Quick and the Dead exhibit, a signed Joseph Boy's um, book, uh, Cunellus Multiple, some audio and uh, other rare books and editions. And the idea is that like, it's a very democratic space. You yourself can bring in work that you've created, have it available in the shop. So it's a very interesting kind of dynamic exhibit space where everything is always changing. But um, you know, it's like some kind of rare finds as well as new exciting stuff being produced. So what we have here are the first three issues of Keizo Kitajima's Photo Mail from Tokyo, which was published in 1979. Kitajima had been affiliated with Daido Moriyama, who was one of the most famous Japanese photographers known for the provoked movement. But in the late 70s, the times were changing, and Kitajima decided to shift away from the grainy and blurry movement that defined provoke and start what I refer to as the punk period of Japanese photography. These are very scarce magazines which he self-published. They were essentially given away at his gallery and very large images of these were strung up on the walls and sold extremely cheaply. These magazines were published um, one a month for 12 months and they were sold at the gallery for 300 yen.